Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cargo's channel. Welcome to another exciting do-it-yourself episode. Uh, today we're going to be cleaning one of the most important parts of your car in these days and age of course. Uh, something that you touch all the time and it's important to be kept clean and that's the steering wheel. Now you don't have to take yours off but I have this W212 steering wheel from a Mercedes uh, E350 sport and uh, it is in a pretty bad shape I don't know if you can see it from there but it has been um, in a car that had the door open uh, or missing for a few years so it collected a lot of dust and grime the procedure is the same with your steering wheel uh, although I hope it's not as dirty as this one so uh, what we're gonna use for this restoration would be Chemical guys, leather cleaner and leather conditioner. First thing, we're gonna clean it, then we're gonna condition it. So um, let's get cracking. All right, so first thing I did is tape the edges because we're gonna do half the steering wheel, we we'll get our thumbnail, and then we're gonna continue um, doing the other half. Uh, just so we can see the difference. First thing we're gonna do, is I use the chemical guys leather cleaner. We're gonna spray the half of the steering wheel and I'm gonna mist it actually. So, so it has nice uh, wet feel. We're gonna take the chemical guys uh, horsehair leather, it's for leather cleaning, but it's a bristle horsehair brush. And we have all those linked below so you don't have to remember what they're called. And then we're gonna go and agitate all the dirt that's on the steering wheel. Front and back, of course. And we're gonna wipe it with the microfiber towel. Now, if your wheel is not very dirty, one pass should probably do it but mine is pretty dirty and look at the, all the grime on the microfiber towel. So we're gonna do two more passes just so we can make sure it's nice and clean. Front and back. And we're gonna agitate it again with the brush. Make sure you spend a little more time on the corners where the stitching is because that's where it collects more uh, dirt and more debris and it's easier to skip over those places but we shouldn't okay after you're done with uh, cleaning certain pass just fold your towel to a cleaner side and what I'm gonna do is gonna have one more pass because this uh, this wheel is uh, pretty dirty again you go, we're gonna put some of the product on the brush and then same exact procedure Just like that, one side of the steering wheel is clean. And what we're gonna do now is apply conditioner. Conditioner is uh, very easy to apply. Uh, we're gonna get one of these applicator pads, but you can also use a uh, microfiber towel and the Chemical Guys Letter Conditional Shape well to mix the nutrients. We're just gonna do one, two three dabs and uh, I'm doing them in this pattern because steering wheel is narrow and it's easier to apply them we're gonna dab it on a few places and then we're gonna work the conditioner inside the leather now this one has nice citrusy kind of grapefruity uh, scent to it some people like it some people don't 
I personally do. I did all my interior with it. That little video would be linked up here. After we apply the conditioner, we'll wait a few seconds for the leather to absorb it. It's gonna see if the leather hasn't been maintained in a while. Uh, it's going to uh, get drier. Then you can reapply a little bit more conditioner if you so desire, but my steering wheel is fine. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a pass with the microfiber towel. So I clean up the excess conditioner from the leather. There we go, just one simple wipe. Okay, there it is. So, the moment of truth will be this. This is dirty and clean steering wheel. I'm gonna take a little picture for the thumbnail and then we're gonna finish it up uh, on the other side and I'll show you the finished product. So now that we have uh, this wheel looking nice and shiny and new, as a matter of fact, there's one more thing I like to do when I'm doing stuff like that, and that is we're gonna use a little bit of VRP to bring out the shine and uh, make the look of the plastics in the back to look like new. So we're gonna use a little bit of uh, VRP or vinyl rubber uh, plastic uh, conditioner from uh, chemical guys let me grab it this is what it looks like and uh, we're gonna shake it so it makes the nutrients we're gonna use the back side of the applicator that we just uh, applied the leather conditioner on and we put uh, one two three small dabs like this you can do whatever you want of course um, I like smearing them, but right now I don't wear gloves, so I'm just gonna dab them lightly on the plastics, like this. And then I'm gonna go around and make sure that plastic looks nice and shiny and new. Not skipping the paddles, of course. This steering wheel has paddle shifters. If I had a way to adapt it on any of my cars, I would have laughed too but it's not meant for them, so this one's gonna go for sale. Go nice and shiny, and pardon the lighting in my garage, it's not great, but you can pretty much see that this steering wheel looks exactly like it came out of the factory. So, nice, clean and refreshed. If you guys made it to the end of today's video, I would appreciate if you hit the subscribe buttons for more uh, do-it-yourself projects like uh, restoring the steering wheel i have a few more on the channel also if you like car events we visit car shows and uh, we review other people's cars so if you're one of those hit me up on instagram uh, car ghost and why i know i haven't changed that and leave a thumbs up right down here i don't know you know where the thumbs up are i'll see you in the next video bye